This is nice, Joe. A night out, a good dinner. Thank you so much. Well, I wanted to do something special. Show you how much I appreciate all the hard work you've been doing. Oh, it's been my pleasure. So, listen, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. What's that? Do you ever think about having another baby? Well, I don't know. I guess I'm open to it. Really? Oh, that's great. So I'll get off the pill. Well, wh what do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Forget it. I, I, I think I'm just a little scattered tonight. I'm probably just PMSing. Oh, Grody. Hey, this is supposed to be a fun night. What's wrong with you? You know, I could ask the same of you. We haven't made love in two weeks. We haven't made love ever. <coughs> oh, great. Now you've upset the baby. Oh, 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 God! Oh! This feels right, but it tastes like a dirty penny. Well, listen, guys, I got something to tell you, and I don't really know how to break it to you, so I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Meg has a crush on me. <laughs> oh, my God! Get over yourself! Well, look, all I'm saying is... I remember when Brian had a similar difficulty with Meg. Maybe she's prone to quick and severe infatuation. Yeah, with a dog, not a cripple. Hey, easy there. All right, look, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misread a few of Meg's signals. I'm sorry I bothered you. Excuse me, Lois, I have to go make a phone call. Hey, wheelie, stupid head, I heard you think Meg likes you. Who is this? How are you getting this information? Oh, my God, Joe was here. Yeah, he just left. I know. I can feel him. I can smell him. Mm, I can taste him. Well, okay, I get the smell part, but Meg, I think we have to have a talk. Sweetheart, you don't, you don't have a crush on Joe, do you? Um, I don't know. Oh, my God, you do have a crush on him. What, Mom? Why shouldn't I like him? When I'm with him, he makes me happy. And he needs me. Oh, Meg, you're fooling yourself. It's classic Florence Nightingale syndrome. You're taking care of him and you're feeling a closeness that you're misinterpreting as a romantic connection. But think about it, Meg. You two have nothing in common. You know, you're right, Mom. I hear you loud and clear. you do? I made us the same, Joe. We're exactly alike, you and I. Now we can be together. My God, we have to get you to the hospital. Oh, but I mean, after soccer practice, you, you got anything planned for then? Oh, I mean, I mean, nothing, nothing. Keep walking. You don't know me. The doctor says you're gonna be fine, and your family's on the way, but that was a crazy thing you did, Meg. I know, I'm... I'm so sorry. I just wanted us to be closer. Look, Meg, I do care for you, but I care for you like a, I would a niece or a good friend's daughter. I feel like such an idiot. Don't. I'm lucky to have you as a neighbor, and even luckier to have you as a friend. Thanks. I'm lucky to have you as a friend, too. <sighs> when is Bonnie coming home? I have to apologize to her. Well, you can apologize right now. Hi, Meg. Bonnie, I'm so sorry I got you arrested. No, it's all right, Meg. Look, I was a teenage girl with a crush at one time myself. I know sometimes it makes you lose touch. Thanks for being so understanding. I, I hope I didn't get you into too much trouble. I mean, you're not going to go to jail or anything, are you? No, I'll be around. I need these voiceover checks to support my gambling addiction. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Stick around. <laughs>